The first build of Windows 11 is already available to members of the Windows Insider program. However, most computers fail to meet the minimal requirement for this operating system as they lack the TPM – Trusted Platform Module component. This model is used for data encryption, user authentication, hardware antivirus protection, and so on. Most likely, Windows 11 uses the TPM features to encrypt the computer's hard disk and protect your data reliably against unauthorized access. If you are thinking about installing Windows 11 on your computer, keep that in mind. When you try installing Windows 11 to a computer without TPM version 2.0, you will see this error message saying this PC can't run Windows 11. But even if you get this error, don't worry, I'm going to show you a workaround that disables the TPM and secure boot check. Let's start with the simplest things. For the first method, you will only need an ISO image of Windows 11. We are going to disable the TPM and secure boot check in the registry before actually starting the installation from the pre-installation environment. Modern versions of Windows usually boot a minimal version of the operating system known as Windows Pre-Installation Environment. It loads a set of drivers required for a particular computer and then launches the main installer. At this stage of installation, you can edit the registry so that the installer will never check the computer for TPM and secure boot. Here is how you can do it. Make sure you have an empty drive to install the operating system. Boot your computer from a Windows 11 bootable pen drive. You should have no difficulties in finding an ISO image of this operating system on the Internet. If necessary, you can watch a video on how to create a bootable pen drive with Windows 10. The steps are absolutely the same, and the only difference in your case would be the ISO image name. I'll put the link in the description below. When the pen drive is ready, you have to add a RAG file which is supposed to disable the TPM check. Right-click on your desktop and create a new text document. Name it as you like, and then open the document. Type this code. This rig file is used to add to the registry the keys which help you pass the TPM 2.0 and secure boot check. After that, you'll be able to continue with installing your Windows as if nothing happened. Save the document and then change its extension from TXT to REG. If file extensions are not shown, open the File Explorer, click on the View tab and check the uh, box next to File Name Extensions. And then all extensions will become visible. The rig file you have just created should be copied to your bootable pen drive containing Windows 11, and you can copy it right to the root folder. At this stage, after booting from the installation USB drive, press the key shortcut Shift F10 to start the command prompt. One more thing you will need is to start the Notepad application. Do it with the simple command Notepad and the program window will open immediately. Click File, Open, select all files in the File Type menu, and then give the path to the RAG file which is on your, on your USB drive. Right-click on it and select Merge. In the warning window, click Yes and then OK. After that, close the Notepad window, the Command Prompt window, and go on with the installation. Also, this can be done manually and without creating a separate reg file. In the command prompt, type regedit to open the registry. Then follow this path – hkey, local machines, system, setup. Right-click on the setup folder, new key, and give it the name labconfig. Open this key, and on the right side of the window, right-click to select New, the word value, and name it as Bypass TPM Check. Open it and set the value data to 1. Then click OK. Create another value with the name Bypass Secure Boot Check.
change its value data to 1 and click OK. Now close the registry and continue with the installation. Click Next and then Install Now. After that, a standard Windows installation process begins, and it looks the same as if you were installing Windows 10. This is when you are asked to enter a product key and activate your Windows. If you have no key to use, click I don't have a product key. Select the operating system version and click Next. Accept the license agreement. In the next window, select the installation type. Choose the disk where to install Windows and click Next. The installation process starts. When it's over, reboot the computer. After that, settings will be applied and the installation is finalized. Select your region, country, and preferred Kiba layout. If necessary, you can add more layouts later. Now, wait a bit while the operating system is checking for updates. At this stage, select the configuration to be applied to your device. It's either for personal use or for work and school. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in. If you don't, it's a good chance to finally create one. Otherwise, select Sign in options below, click on Offline account and skip for now. Then type the username and the password and then click Next. Then the operating system will finish with the settings and boot. This is the last step of the installation process. If you are trying to upgrade to Windows 11 from the copy of Windows 10 that you are already using and you get an incompatibility warning, there is one file to be replaced in the ISO image. To have things done, you need a Windows 10 image first. Open the bootable drive with Windows 11 that you have previously created and open the Sources folder. Open a folder with the same name in your Windows 10 image. For your convenience, it is better to have it opened in a new window. Copy a DLL file with the name appraisers.dll uh, to the source folder in your Windows 11 image and agree to replace the previous version of the file. After the replacement, run setup.exe and upgrade your Windows safely. If you did everything right, your upgrade to Windows 11 will run smoothly without having to check your PC for TPM and Secure Boot. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.